fantastic. I am glad you had the tenacity come back. We are again from Allen High School, and this is our AP IBHL1, and we're moving into the simplest of the empirical formula by combustion problems. So let's take a look at this. It says we have a hydrocarbon. That tells us that all we have is carbon and hydrogen present. Now I did tell you earlier that you could go directly to moles if you want, but I would like to keep this uniform for you. So I'm going to go ahead and start with our get to mass step. It's gonna have a tiny wasted step here. And if you see that, then by all means, you, you work it that way, the shorter way. But I'm going to go ahead and do the get to mass part. So I've got 4.40 grams of CO2 that formed, and I want mass of carbon, pure carbon. All of the carbon from the hydrocarbon ended up in the CO2. I've got one carbon times 12.01. So that's the part over the whole for carbon dioxide is 44.01 grams. So that part of it, remember, was the fraction from your percent composition. And I would get 1.201 grams of carbon. And again, I caution you, don't round too early in these steps or it will throw off your answer. You may think you need to multiply by a number to get a whole, or you may have rounded such that you don't multiply when you should have. So you really need to carry through these values here. I have 2.70 grams of water, and all of the hydrogen from the hydrocarbon goes into this water. I have two hydrogens, 1.01. So I'm going to be doing a mass to mass within over water's mass is 18.02 grams. And again, that's simply the fraction part of a percent composition. So I have 0 0.3027 grams of hydrogen. So that's the get to mass part. If there was oxygen present, we would have to do a subtraction from this 1.50 gram sample, but as you see, the sum of these two is very close to the 1.50 grams, certainly within significant figures anyway, so we did not need to do that. So the next part, remember, get to mass, then it's mass to moles. So mass to moles multiply by one over the molar mass. And so for hydrogen, it's going to be one over 1.01. .01. And that gives me 0 0.1000 moles of carbon and 0 0.2997 moles of hydrogen. And like I said, you want to carry those out at least four significant figures. Now, get to mass, mass to moles. Now what we want to do is divide by the smallest. In this case, it's our carbon. So I'm going to divide them both by 0.1, and I get obviously the one for the carbon, and for the hydrogen, I get 2.997, which is close enough to three, that we don't need to worry about that final multiply till whole step. So our empirical formula here is CH3, and that's all the question asked us for. The question said, what is the empirical formula? We would find that there are many molecular formulas that could fit this. It could have been C2H6. It could be C3H9 in theory. I don't think that one would exist, but how about C4H12? So that one might not either. We'd have to lay those out. But in theory, we have a lot of possibilities for this. All right, now we're going to move into the harder one where we include oxygen. That's what the model had for us. And so we wanna work one of these. We have this hydrocarbon. It has some number of carbons, some number of hydrogens, and some oxygen. 
and we're going to add more oxygen. Again, that's what makes the oxygen in this problematic. We're always talking about complete combustion when we do these. In complete combustion, we make carbon dioxide. Now, this sample here is 0 0.2500 grams. They give us this is 0.3664 grams, and this is 0 0.1500. Now, step one, get to mass. And I've explained this once and we've already done it once. So hopefully this will go pretty quickly for you. I won't belabor the point. So we're going to use the percent composition fraction and we're going to get to the mass of carbon in the CO2. And that gives us 0 0.09999, carry it out. It's our grams carbon. We're going to do a similar calculation with the hydrogen. Now it's the oxygen that we can't do this type of a calculation. So I have two hydrogens, they each contribute 1.01. .01. The total in water is 18.02. I bet you've memorized that by now. That's a molar mass we use quite frequently. And if you do that algebra, we get 0 0.01681 grams of hydrogen. Now, to get to oxygen, we use this value here because that 0 0.250 has to equal the sum of the oxygen, the hydrogen, and the carbon. So I'm going to take my 0 0.2500 initial gram and I'm going to subtract what I get for my carbon, what is contributed by carbon, plus what is contributed by hydrogen. Therefore, the remaining amount has to be my oxygen. Okay, so we did get to mass for each one. Now our next step, I, I tend to like to string these on as much as possible. Let's change color though. So now we've got to go mass to moles. And from here on in, we've seen this before. Get to mass, mass to moles. So you divide by the molar mass. I'm simplifying it even more than I have before. And you'll want to always check my math, so I'd suggest you punch this in while I do, plus the action of working with the numbers can improve the learning process. Now, make sure that you understand where each of these values came from. This is my moles of carbon, my moles of hydrogen, and my moles of oxygen. And if you don't understand where I got any of these numbers, this number here, this number here, or this number here, that's the type of thing you want to be writing down so that you can ask me those questions in class. Now I'm going to divide by the smallest, which is very close to being the same for the carbon and the oxygen. That's a two there, sorry about that. So we have a one. 0 0.008326. This comes out to about two, close enough to round. And this is also one. And so our empirical formula is CH2O. And again, it doesn't ask us for the molecular formula or anything like that, just the empirical formula. A little bit later on, we will be working with some problems when we work with our AP questions where we will actually have to calculate the molar mass and then use the empirical formula and the molar mass to get the molecular formula. But we will hold off on that. The next one we're going to be doing is hydrates, and it's a really similar concept. There's a subtle variation on this theme, but it's still all about get to mass mass to moles, divide by the smallest. Ah, I bet you thought I forgot multiply till whole. 